What's up guys? I'm going to repost a couple of videos I did a few years ago about my winter gardening. These are my cold frames. I've had varying degrees of success mostly because I'm not good at documenting and by that I mean documenting what seeds, what plants I put in when and being able to correct it the next year by looking back at my spreadsheet. I'm going to try to be better about this that this year and if people are interested I will post another video series of that. Um, I'm at a new location that has full sun during the winter and um, yeah I hope you enjoy. If you like it please comment and also please subscribe. Alright this is the start of my winter garden. Um, we've got broccoli here and kohlrabi um, there's some cabbage and brussels sprouts and leeks started some swiss chard more kohlrabi um, that's what I have started so far really um, over here I have some peas um, this will be, these are more of a fall garden really um, this is the stuff I've been mixing with my compost to make my make my mix for my beds. It's um, called coconut core, and uh, it actually, so far, I'm really happy with it. It's peat moss replacement, basically. Um, over here is my cold frames and my little low tunnel. Um, I'm still working on. I'm going to get all this set up. I haven't got my plastic in yet, but it's ordered. Um, I made these little wedges to put the PVC on and just to give me a little more little more room out this way for for everything. I'm going to grow three rows of broccoli in there. That's the plan anyways. And then I'm not real sure how I'm going to attach the plastic, but I think you can get this three-quarter PVC and um and just cut a little section out of it and it'll just snap right on to the half inch pvc and it holds it pretty good so that's the plan right now still got a few summer things growing in this bed actually a tree smashed it this summer and that's that's all i had left um, but this is my first year with a winter garden. This is in zone 6B, by the way, in Springfield, Missouri. This is the first cold frame I built. It'll actually, it's self-venting, so I don't, I don't have to vent it. I just don't have the little window opener in there right now, so it didn't have to sit, sit out in the hot all summer. But I made these, these cedar liners for it to, um, so I can take all the dirt out and use it for seed starting in the spring. I did the same thing with my little window greenhouse there. Um, and this this bed this cold frame I think will be a little warmer than my my other one, so I'll um, I'll plant it last. But I this is my new cold frame. I built it out of got some pallets and took them apart and built this. Um, so I've got some lettuce started in here. I haven't got the the top put on it yet, but that's actually west that direction, and so I'm gonna lose some sun on there. So that's why I started started my stuff in this cold frame. But we'll see. This is a little this is a little seed starting guide that I built yesterday. I'm just sticking the dirt in it. Marks where all your lettuce seeds go. Um, I think that about covers everything. But I've got some more peas back there for the the fall garden. But hopefully I'll be able to get lettuce just about all winter. That's my plan, anyways. All right, this is a little update on my fall garden here. Um, I still haven't put in my plastic on my low tunnel. I got it in, but we really been pretty hot. We got close to freezing the past two nights. Um, I think they said it was about 35, but even a light frost wouldn't hurt most of these plants, so I haven't put the plastic on. But these squares right here are my broccoli. 
they're doing pretty good and right down here I have some Brussels sprouts in these squares and then this right here is cabbage and so when I first put these in I had a major issue with um, cabbage moth they came every day but I just hand picked them and they survived and I think the cabbage moths are pretty much done doing their evil deeds um, right here, these three squares are kohlrabi. I've never grown this before, but it's pretty cool looking plant, actually. Um, and I've never even had kohlrabi, so I'm pretty excited about it. And then these squares, I've got some onions here. I don't think these will bulb, but I'm just growing them for green onions. And then right there. And then right here in this square, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got some carrots started. And then all these paper towels will be carrots too. And I found that you can put the paper towel down, put your seeds on top of the dirt, and then just put a paper towel on top of it. And uh, it keeps the seeds moist longer, and they germinate a little faster. And then over here in this cold frame, um, I've got some beets growing for greens. It's called bull's blood I think and then I've got some Swiss chard and a random onion there and then over here there's gonna be some lettuce in there and some spinach and I've got most of that planted and then right back there in the corner is a, a little kale plant that I just threw a seed in there for the heck of it I'll probably plant some more in a little while and then this cold frame I've pretty much got it all planted and it's almost all lettuce. I've got a few oriental greens over here on this end and then a few plants of Swiss chard back there and then I'll have some more kale over here if it decides to come up and then there's my some of my peas that I planted and they're not not growing very good. I think maybe the heat stunted them and I haven't gotten any peas off of them but oh well I guess. Now I've got, I've got this green on top of my lettuce and then that box over there as you notice and I've had a major issue with cave crickets as soon as my lettuce would come up they'd eat the tops off at night and tried to come out here and kill as many as I could but there's just too many and they would get every single lettuce plant that came up so I'm about a month behind what I really wanted to be with my lettuce I don't know how well this lettuce is going to do in this box now that the, the days are getting shorter. And I've got some trees back here now, so for the next month my garden's really limited on the amount of sun it gets. But, oh well, live and learn I guess, so we'll see how it does. Alright, here's another update for the winter garden. It's the middle of November pretty much. Um, broccoli's doing good, um, cabbage's doing pretty good, my Brussels sprouts are still pretty tiny. Back in there, I don't know if you can see them or not, but, um, the kohlrabi's doing pretty good. It's starting to bulb out down there, as you can see. Um, carrots are small, I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed, I should should have planted everything a little sooner I guess but I knew it was going to be an experiment so um, I've got the plastic on here now and um, my little clips have worked out pretty good I don't have um, a lot of wind right here so so I don't know how well they would do in a really windy environment but they're pretty good so far um, the cold frame the snake's in there to keep the squirrels out, and it's done a pretty good job actually, so I think I'm going to get some more of those, because I, I dig in everything, that's that's the main reason I've got the screen on there still, is because the squirrels keep digging in there. Um, got some kale plants in here, and a lettuce plant back there, I actually found that on sale and I just planted it there, I didn't grow it from seed, but um, these little guys in here by the snake are kale, and bull's blood and then some swiss chard back there and then that's that kale plant I planted a while back and um some lettuce and a few spinach plants that came up 
and then over here these right there that's spinach and then um, I've got a lot of volunteer tomato seeds from my compost um, so I need to get rid of those but the rest of this is mache and um, just like a mustard green I think and then in this cold frame over here that big lettuce back there is more that I just one of that that pot that I found on sale that I planted um, so everything in here you can see it's not not making a ton of progress but oh well I'll get some food out of it anyways and I'll know for next year and then back there in the window greenhouse um, on the bottom there that's mostly oriental greens and then up top I've got some lettuce and some spinach um, but should have planted everything a little bit earlier but I should get some food out of it either way hopefully the broccoli will head and the cabbage will do its thing too so we'll see um, I just wanted to show you guys this too all this lettuce was actually planted about the same time as that s that first little cold frame over there um, and this is what the difference between a really sunny spot and a not so sunny spot makes so this lettuce was started later and it's already pretty much ready to start eating on so I just didn't realize how much shade I was going to get so soon from those trees in the back of my yard but um, that lettuce was started later and now it's now it's pretty much ready to eat so so the sun makes a big difference if you have trees in your yard when you're trying to grow stuff in the fall it just goes so far south you get, get a lot more shadows alright here's my December update um, as you can see, plants aren't looking quite as healthy as they were. My broccoli here. Um, we had a night down into the just above zero, really. I think it was around three or five that night. I put a sheet over inside here, but but they're still looking pretty rough. Uh, my pepper plant definitely bit the dust when it did that. Um, but everything. It's, for the most part everything's still alive other than the pepper plant so there's just not I don't have very much growth going on so I don't know if I'll be able to keep them alive until oh I probably need to keep them alive for two months and then the days will definitely be long enough that they might be able to give me some more food off of it um, really all I've gotten to eat is lettuce so far and those green onions down there but we'll see see what happens with that um, the cold frames, this week it's really been, oh, almost not even above freezing, even for the daytime highs, so, and it's been cloudy, so the cold frames and everything have pretty much been shut, so I took the screens off of there, and the squirrels haven't been much of an issue, really, got, I got another snake over here. So, I don't know if it's helping or not, but they haven't been in here digging even when I have it propped open. Um, so, you can see my lettuce there. I haven't actually started eating on any of that yet. Um, nothing out of here, really. Um, but we can get some food out of it. So, so that's good. Um, this one over here. You can see there's a decent amount of greens in there. Um, so I probably haven't really grown much since my last video, but, but they're all still doing really good. Now, um, my lettuce over there, um, mostly that's a salad mix. Um, some of this right here is a, um, a really good heirloom cold hardy lettuce, but I've been pretty happy with it so far. Um... Here's my little window greenhouse. You can see my oriental greens are doing okay. Uh, I've been eating some of that in salads and a little bit in stir fry and stuff, but but nothing's really growing. It's just hanging out, kind of. But 
gives us some food. And you can see a couple little spinach plants that came up, but they're they're not doing much. And my lettuce up here, I don't know how well you can see that, but that's really, we've been eating quite a bit off of that. It's that cold hardy lettuce that I got, I can get the name if any of you guys want it, but it's done pretty good. Even in the really cold weather, it's still, still hanging in there, looks good, so it tastes good too. Um, I haven't been watering very much, maybe, maybe watered once or twice since my last video, so everything's doing pretty good but those tomato plants that I needed to pull out of here I mentioned last time um, when it got really cold they just died so saved me some work I guess alright I guess that's it alright here's an update for February um, January is pretty mild no major changes but February has been a beast we've set a record low a couple nights ago, negative 10 Fahrenheit. Um, I've been putting like a sheet on top of the broccoli, kind of a floating row cover. Um, but it looks like my broccoli survived to me. Time will tell. Um, we're supposed to finally get some warm weather. We're supposed to get into the 60s this week. So. Um, I guess we'll find out, and the days are getting longer, I think they're about ten and a half hours right now. So it should be long enough to start growing. Um, so actually most stuff has done a lot better than I thought it would. The carrots weren't even covered, and it was negative ten, and they're, you can see, they're still small, but they're doing fine. The kohlrabi just kind of got dark colored. Um, I don't know if it'll be alright or not. And then, um, got my cabbage and stuff over there and it looks okay too. So maybe I'll get some early spring vegetables. And cold frames, you can see spinach and the lettuce, it was in the ground, not even phased. Um, the oriental greens, they were up in the air, you can see they're all pretty much dead. I think I might have brought some bugs in with that lettuce I got from a greenhouse this fall. Uh, so I think that might be the reason that's not doing so good. Um, you can see that first kale plant I planted there. It's doing fine and that little piece of Swiss chard is doing fine. So, And again it was negative 10 a couple nights ago. Um, and this cold frame had about 3 or 4 inches of snow on it. Um, so I don't know if that helped protect it or or what, but it but it all survived. Um, this cold frame also doing pretty good. You can see the oriental greens in here that were in the ground. They did fine. Um, some of them are going to seed there, and most of the lettuce is fine. It started growing again uh, now that the days are getting longer. So I've been harvesting eating salads here and there but uh, I definitely need to get stuff in the ground a little sooner and get it a little bigger for next year but I would say growing stuff in the winter was uh, a success and I will definitely continue to do it because it really does work well um, but I should start seeing the next month I should start really seeing some more growth growth happen with all this stuff um, but All right, this is gonna be my last update. Uh, my broccoli has officially survived winter, including one night down to negative ten. Um, if you look closer, you can see I'm starting to get some purple heads on there. Um, my cabbage also survived, and it's starting to head. Kohlrabi survived carrot survived and uh, some onions that I've been eating green onions for also survived um, over here kale survived uh, spinach and lettuce obviously all survived mache survived all of it's doing good and I've been eating this lettuce and spinach I've been having solids just about daily, so you can't even hardly tell that I've 
touched it. Um, I stuck a few broccoli plants in here that I started from seed a month or so ago. And um, as you can see, all my lettuce in here is also doing really good. My oriental greens have started going to seeds. I didn't really use them that much. Need to get them out of there. More lettuce over there. Um, overall, I would definitely say this is a big success. Um, this is definitely the earliest I've ever had any any kind of greens like this, especially this growing this well. Um, I will do it next year for sure, and um, I'll just start everything a little sooner. I guess this is it for uh, my winter gardening project. Uh, this is March 17th, by the way.